if the object you would like to um, turn into a shape is part of an image, you first need to cut it out of the image. Uh, the best way to do it is pen, uh, with the pen tool. And you just click how I showed you before. Click and drag to where you think your curve is gonna go. You can later on change the curve how you want with the control key. We've already done this before, so I'm going to just demonstrate this. It takes some time to cut out the whole car, and I've already done it. So I'll just close this path and um, turn it into selection and Control J. Cut out only these cells, so this is how you can cut out the whole car just like that. I've already done it, so it's right here. And uh, because it's quite a big image, I'm going to change the size of the image. Right click on the top, image size, I'm going to change it to 400 pixels by 300 pixels. Okay. Control 0 to resize again. And now, well, there's um, a way to do it other than with Trash Hold. If you want to, um, let's go to Select, Color Range. And we can click on with the eyedropper on this color. And it chooses the white parts are the visible parts, and the ones that it will make the selection out of. If you want to add more colors to this, just click on this icon and click on this, this color. And this pretty much selects the whole car. We can play with this fuzziness bar to achieve the most uh, details we want. I chose 47 here. Demonstration, and uh, so this is our selection. And this I'm going to make a work path. I'm going to delete this one. I'll make a work path. I'll, ch I'll pick the smallest tolerance, which is 0 0.5 pixels. And um, this is our selection here. If we want to see how it looks like. We'll do Alt we'll do Alt Backspace to fill it in. Control D to select. This is how our shape is gonna look like. Again if um, you wanted more details you display with the fuzziness bar in the color range or we can go back to the car and try it with the threshold how it would look like and maybe this looks better. So going to pick it like this. Now I'm going to um, turn this into selection by clicking on the magic wand. That's another way to pick the color. And I pick the black. If it didn't select, just to make sure that it selected all black, I'll right click and click on sim similar. And um, now I'm going to make, make a work path out of this one same tolerance. Now if you look this is our new shape path and uh, if we turn it into selection and fill it in this is how it would look like. This one maybe is a little bit better. So now we can save this as a shape same, we ha same way we have already been doing it. Or you could do go to edit and define custom shape. That's the same thing. Okay, let's complete this tutorial.